Let's participate. Okay. Um, I just muted all of you, uh, so there will be no uh, distraction. Uh, let me start now. Good afternoon, everyone, and good morning for those who are in Europe. Um, I see here we have participants uh, from all over Indonesia, from Solo, from Jakarta, Yogyakarta, Bandung, Surabaya, and many other cities in Indonesia. And I believe we have also some participants from Italy, from uh, Napoli, Professor Esaseriente, and also from France, we have a representative from EHES uh, and CAS, from Croatia, and many more. So welcome, everyone. Very happy to see you all here. Um, welcome to the webinar entitled The Space and uh, Landscape Perspective. Uh, and the challenge of regeneration with the speakers, uh, Mr. Ferdinando D'Agostino. Uh, he's an Italian PhD student at the School for Advanced Studies in the School in the so uh, Social Sciences in Paris, and also member of Center for Southeast Asian Studies. And Dr. Afi Marlina, head of Magister Program of Architecture of Universitas 11 Maret. So uh, this webinar is a collaboration between the Italian Cultural Institute Jakarta and the Faculty of Engineering of Universitas 11 Maret in Solo through Urban Rural Design and Conservation Laboratory Department of Architecture. So now to start, uh, let me call the head of study program of architecture Universitas 11 Maret, Bapak Dr. Untung Joko Cahyono, to say a few words. Um, Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, good afternoon, Miss Maria Bataglia, the director of the Italian Culture Institute, Jakarta. Good afternoon and good morning, uh, students, ladies and gentlemen. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Untung Joko Cahyono. I am the head of architecture department. Faculty of Engineering, Uni Uni Universitas 11 Maret, Surakarta. We are very happy when the Italian Cultural Institute Jakarta asked to have collaboration event with our institution. Particularly in this pandemic era, all activities that related with culture event was limited and the students have limited access to kind of this event. With this webinar, uh, I hope there are exchange knowledge between our student and staff, and member and the research, researcher and practitioners from a foreign country, especially from Italia. And uh, for the speakers, Bapak Fernando, Ferdinando D'Agostino uh, from Case EHES and Ibu uh, Dr. Afi Marlina, I would like to give best appreciation. May the experience can be inspired to others. And also thanks to Bu Kusumaruli, uh, the head of ORDG Laboratory as a moderator, and Ibu Kisera from IAC Jakarta, whom already active to have communication with us and also big appreciation to all the team to make this webinar possible. Hope all of you can enjoy this meeting and on webinar and stay safe. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Terima kasih banyak, uh, Pak Untu. Thank you so much. Uh, and the next one. I will give the floor to Ibu Maria Batalia, the director of the Italian Cultural Institute in Jakarta, to say a few words. Um, Ibu Maria, wait, I will unmute you. Okay. Thank you, Kisera. The last YouTube video of it will be you uh, and uh, now. English <laughs> language, and uh, I'm very happy 
And good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, uh, Dr. Ruth on the job of no, no, head of the study program of the University of Maris. Good afternoon, dear students, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, good afternoon, especially to professor and the teacher to students of University of Orientale from Network. Thank you so much. I'm the director of the Italian Culture Institute in Jakarta and uh, the Italian Ministry of uh, Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation and the Italian Culture Institute in Jakarta. And this pandemic period continue to offer a series of cultural events ranging from cinema, music, art, dance, science, literature, cuisine, cultural heritage, and many more. That is why I'm very happy today to be here with you all virtually on this webinar about the why young better. I believe that in times of the crisis, we need the art and the culture more than ever. Billions of people are around the world turn to culture as a source of a comfort and connection. This unprecedented um, emergency demonstrates culture's role in building resilience and social cohesion. Art is resilient. I'm very grateful for this first collaboration with Universitas Sebaila Mare. I am sure there will be many other possibilities to work together in the future. Now, allow me to give my thank you to Universitas de Benas Mare, Papak Dr. Inkin Dujoko Chayono, head of the study program of architecture, to our speakers today, Mr. Ferdinando Cacostino, grazie, molte, and the Ibu Dr. Abi Marina, the head of the master's program in architecture and the moderator, Ibu Dr. Rui Kutoma. And of course, two of the team to make this webinar possible. Last but not least, I invite you all to follow us in our, our social media to enjoy the Italian culture from your home. Thank you so much, and I wish you a fruitful webinar. Be well, stay home, stay healthy, and especially stay tuned on Italian Culture Institute, Italiano, Instituto Italiano di Cultura in Jakarta. Grazie mille. Grazie mille, dottoressa. Thank you so much. Um, and now I would like to uh, give our special thanks to our uh, dear friend, Truly Hito Soro, she's also a PhD student in EHES. Thank you so much for creating the bridge between us all. And now, before we start, let me inform you some points uh, about this webinar. The first one is, uh, this webinar will be bilingual in Indonesian and also in English. The second one is about the uh, interaction in Zoom. I will try to um, share the the rules, be patient. We are all new in this uh, technology thing, so, <laughs> okay, I think I can, um, wait, 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 here we are. So yeah, we have several um, rules, not very uh, difficult, I guess. So uh, during the webinar, during the webinar, uh, this is, uh, okay, um, can you talk during the webinar? So, uh, we already thought about this to avoid the confusion. During the webinar, your microphone will be muted by the host, by me. However, if you have something to share, you want to ask, you want to uh, share your opinion, uh, you can write in the chat room whenever you want. Uh, later on, I will write in the chat room so you can uh, see how it works and um, how to ask during the Q&A uh, session. 
after the uh, two presentation, uh, you will have the possibility to uh, ask. There are two options. The first one is you can write in the chat room. And the second one, you can digitally uh, raise your hand. So uh, at the bottom center of your PC or Mac screen, you can find the icon uh, participants. Uh, you can click that and then you can uh, find the button labeled trace hand. You can uh, click that and uh, your hand is digitally uh, raised. I will unmute you and you can start to talk. Uh, you can also react the, during the webinar, uh, showing us if you like the, the presentation um, with emoji reaction. There are two options, uh, thumbs up and clapping emoji. Uh, you, you can react without interrupting the meeting. Uh, at the bottom of the, the meeting screen, you can, you can see how to, how to do that. So uh, I will give the floor to uh, the moderator of the webinar, um, Dr. Kusuma Ruli, which is the head of URDC Laboratory of the Department of Architecture. Ibu Ruli, silakan. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Gisela, and uh, good afternoon, everybody in Indonesia. And good afternoon, uh, good morning, yeah, for the one who will live in Europe. Thank you very much uh, for kind of such this opportunity. It's uh, it is my pleasure to be here, and also I'm really happy uh, to have kind of this event. Uh, well, actually, uh, this event was uh, created uh, when we talked with Kisera and Truly, and then then yeah, um, we, we follow up more future because like uh, what um, Dr. Untung was said from uh, head of department architecture, uh, it is our big opportunity for our student to have a kind of this event because now in Indonesia, <clears throat> particularly uh, the Ministry of Education really support for the Belajar Merdeka, um, meaning uh, we are very happy Really, to have uh, gained uh, knowledge from every everybody, and particularly for uh, these events, we can have a collaboration um, between Indonesia and Italy. So yes, uh, today we have two uh, very interesting, uh, as we know, uh, speakers. Uh, first, we have uh, Ferdinando D'Agostino, Mas Nando. We can call him Mas Nando, yeah. And the second one we have Ibu Dr. Alfi Marlina. So before we go to uh, the, the, their presentation, uh, please let me um, give a bit a brief about who Masnando is. Yeah, actually Masnando already uh, have visiting Universitas Sebelas Maret uh, Solo uh, for three months. Yeah, not not when as but in Solo. Yeah, have research in Solo. Okay. So Mas Nando is an Italian researcher, sure, uh, um, who since 2008 has been conducting the research on wayang and especially wayang beber since 2014. And I believe uh, Mas Nando really love uh, falling in love with wayang beber, yeah. And uh, Mas Nando um, graduated from Instituto uh, Universitario Orientale uh, Neto, uh, Italy with the thesis focusing on Wayang Kulit Jawa. So I think so much uh, experience here. In 2008, uh, he won a scholarship program, Dharma Siswa, uh, from Indonesian uh, Ministry of Education to study Indonesian language uh, and culture at University Pakuan Bogor. And uh, currently he's doing his doctorate, uh, doctoral uh, in social anthropology and ethnology of, at EHES uh, Paris. Uh, with uh, the research on Wayang Beber. So he is also a member of CASE, he has. Um, and uh, today, uh, Mas Nando will talk about, a bit more about the space and landscape perspective because uh, we, we have a collaboration from the Department Architecture, which is, this is interesting. And then next, after Mas Nando, we go to the Dr. Afi Marlina. Mm, I think it's better Mas Nando to have a, uh, his presentation first. And then after that, we go to the Dr. Afi Marlina. Yeah? 
Have a please. Uh, I welcome first uh, speaker to Mas Nando going first for 20 minutes. Yeah, Mas Nando, not more. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes, thanks, uh, Kusuma Ibu Ibu Ruli. <laughs> Um, selamat siang semuanya and welcome to everybody. Uh, before to start with my uh, with my presentation and my speech, I would like to uh, to thank uh, the director of Italian Cultural Institute, Maria Battaglia. Thanks to invite me to make this presentation. Mbaki Sarel Tifterani, that think about me for this presentation and all the staff of Italian Cultural Institute. And then uh, a special thank to uh, Dr. Ultum Gioio Chayoyo, uh, Chayono, the head of the study program of architecture of the University of Sebelas Maret, uh, Ibu Dr. Rulli, Kuzuma Rulli, then uh, Ibu Dr. Avi, in, apaya, that will be my partner in this, uh, in this two, in this presentation, actually, uh, we will start with the, the evolution of why I'm there, and then uh, Ibu Abi will talk about regeneration. It is a topic that I really, I'm really interesting to, because actually, uh, why I'm there needs a regeneration. Uh, allow me to say something in Indonesian. Saya benar-benar senang. Uh, bisa berbagi waktu dengan anda semua dan semoga seminar ini akan kasih uh, uh, ide dan inspirasi baru uh, ke semua partisipan. Terima kasih. Jadi, oke. Okay. Um, first, uh, the first uh, feeling when I uh, when I received this proposal to make uh, a speech about why I'm there, it was happiness because we don't have uh, very much occasion, very much chance to talk about Wayambeber. And actually, uh, it's not only my opinion, Wayambeber is the less known among uh, uh, Wayang Jenners. We know when we talk about Wayang, we, we, we think uh, about Wayang Kulit, is the shadow puppet theater, or Wayang Kolek, the 3, 3D wooden puppet theater, or the Wayang Wong, the, the Wayang with the human actors. Uh, actually, Beber is a, is a sort is an atypical kind of wine because uh, it's very different from the other genres. Uh, its scenes are painted, and uh, the, the, the 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 orchestra is very limited, uh, and uh, there's no movement in this uh, in this kind of theater. So it's if we compare with the other genres, it really looks different. Uh, I would like to, uh, I have been requested to make a sort of, uh, uh, not historical evolution, but to give some uh, historical data. I will try to don't make this so boring. And uh, so I will start with uh, a little presentation, uh, just to give you some, uh, some data and share, okay. So, okay, uh, the, 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 the score painting theater, the Javanese score painting theater, Wayambeber, can be listed in the technique of the scroll painting theater. Uh, the the, the Scholars are, uh, are agree in saying that the, the tradition to perform picture has very uh, ancient origin, and it comes from uh, uh, from the oral tradition to transmit knowledge, so the myths of origin uh, that were containing the ancient knowledge of the ancestors, and so they were communicated by uh, verbally. Uh, in time, the, this storyteller began a, a part of the storyteller began to uh, to tell. Uh, their stories with the help of some images. Um, the, 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 the introduction of images could be intended as a sort of uh, help in the memorization of the narratives uh, uh, by the, uh, the, the, the storyteller, but uh, having religious 
content. It was also a sort, uh, uh, a sort of help for the audience to understand, uh, uh, to understand something more about uh, ritual or religious meaning. So uh, the, the, the trend was to, to perform narratives, uh, epic episodes, especially and myths of origin, with the help of some images, especially God images. Um, the, first, uh, the first thing that I want to say is that it's almost sure that uh, the, the, the technique of the scroll painting theater come from India. And the first art we detected about is the Chitrakata, that uh, is an art, the art to show picture and tell stories, and um, performed by the storyteller called Chitrakati, that, uh, that means uh, one who shows picture. And uh, uh, the first uh, uh, path is the name of the, of the, of the art in, in the modern world. And the Yamapatika and Mankas was the, the two class of storytellers. Yamapatika were uh, a low caste of wandering beggars, because this was a, a sort of a low caste uh, dati. And uh, uh, the Yamapatikas tell story about Yama, uh, the, the god of the lower world. And um, they show in their uh, performances picture of Yama and the punishment of that. Mankas was another class of uh, Chitrakata, and they uh, they were they wandered around the little villages to um, to tell stories about the, the god of the Hindu pantheon. The religious connection is very important in in this art because uh, this actually was a, a sort of ritual and. Uh, uh, and being wandering beggars, the, 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 the storytellers, means that they didn't have any payment, but just offerings from the people that, uh, that uh, assist, the, 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 that join the performance. Uh, so it's from India that Wayambeber came to Java. And OK, we can see here Chandi, because uh, uh, Actually, when we talk about Java, one image, well, the, the, one of the first images beside Wayang goes to the Chandi. And uh, shawlers, a lot of shawlers are agree saying that Wayang Bader is a sort of uh, uh, is a sort of narrative painting and coming from the the, 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 the carvings, the narrative car carvings of the of the Chandi. Um, so here is a sort of uh, uh, data, historical data. I don't want to lose time about this, but I have to say this, uh, just to make you understand the evolving of the Wayama there, and then to introduce also the Ibuabi uh, papers that we talk about regeneration. So the first thing I want to say is that we need a regeneration of Wayama there because in such a way this tradition was almost forgotten for, uh, for hundreds of years. So, uh, in my opinion, probably, probably the, when, when, when the proto Wayabeber arrived in, uh, in Java, uh, it was uh, performed by beggars, by low caste people. So, uh, we are not sure if this arrived in, in the uh, 10th century in Indonesia. But the, 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 the fact is that our first historical, uh, historical data goes to the uh, 939, for Ventira, of course, in which uh, King Jayabaya of Mamenang asked uh, for a picture of his ancestors. Uh, and uh, these, uh, these, these pictures were drawn on, uh, on a support called Lontar or Rontal. Rontal is actually the, 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 the leaf of uh, palmira uh, tree, palmira palm. And uh, this is a very, very ancient uh, media, a very ancient support. Uh, so with the time, these uh, figures, these characters uh, began to be performed 
by Adalan that tell story the tell tell story about the the, 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 the personage. Uh, with time, uh, little heading were made to the uh, gamelan, to the William Beber, so heading gamelan and Cowie poems, and this can uh, testify that the the those the that that art uh, go went inside the, the, the court, so and, and on an higher level. But the uh, the real change in William Beber was when the the, the the Luang, so a change of support had been, had been made. Prabhusuria uh, Miluhur, after the fall of, uh, of Jengala, has to go to the west. So he's the founder of Pajajaran uh, Empire, Pajajaran Kingdom. And he asked to enlarge, he asked to enlarge this, this picture of ancestors. And the Diluang, that actually is uh, uh, a sort of paper. Uh, uh, made from three barks, and it's called also Kertas Ponorovo. Uh, allow this because the surface that can be obtained can, can be obtained by the the, 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 the working of this uh, tree bark. Uh, the surface was bigger than the uh, lontar. Uh, so the first uh, appearance of Wayam Beber, uh, not 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 the same as today, but in such a way, the first time the, the, the words Beber, that means a row, uh, come to life was in 1361. With the time, uh, during Majapahit Empire, the Wayan Beber, that before until now was in black and white, began to be colored. And uh, uh, this, this process was, um, was made by Raden Sungin Prabankara. Sungin actually is also the name of the technique to, of coloration, coloring, of coloring why I'm there. Uh, the last data that you can read here is about uh, an historical evidence. Is about, uh, these, uh, um, these chronicles have been made by Ma Huan, that was a Chinese monk that visited with an admiral of the Ming Empire uh, Java during the Majapahit Empire. He gave very good chronicles about uh, uh, customs, art, and political situation in, uh, uh, in Java at the time. And uh, uh, he was the first talking about people that draw on the Luang and also represent this Luang. And uh, gave a sort of, uh, of a resume of what the Dalang made. With the, with the scroll, so uh, showing scroll to, to the audience and explaining the images. So here is a, a very important uh, point, historical point for the uh, for the Wayan, for the Wayan Beber, but not only for all the Wayan art. And during the during the uh, the Demak Sultanate at the fall of uh, of Majapahit, uh, Islami, uh, Islam comes to to, to be spread in, in Indonesia. And uh, since Islamic prescription about the, 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 the drawing of human figure, uh, the, 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 the Wayang had to be, uh, to, be to, to, to have a sort of a symbolization. So the Wali, the apostles of Islam, made this, this sort of uh, creative solution uh, symbolizing the the, the, the the character and giving a different proportion to the to the anthropomorphic figure. During Mataram Sultanate, uh, we have the last two examples of Wayan Beber that actually are the two set of scrolls that we still uh, own today. We still own today, and Panji Joko Kemankuning that was made in. 1696 uh, during the reign of Sunan Mankorat II and Kireme Mangujaya during the rule of Sunan Pago II in 1735. After this, uh, the, the tradition to, to perform Wayan Beber uh, go, uh, went in, uh, in a sort of decadence because Wayan Kulit uh, gained uh, success and, uh, and replaced also Wayan Beber 
in the ritual, so in the ceremony of the Ruatan, that was a sort of exorcism of cleansing ceremony. So since since that time, uh, Wayambeber, as we said before, uh, began to be uh, not to disappear, but uh, it, it lived a sort of uh, forgetting period. Uh, okay, basing on uh, on our two based on our two uh, examples that we have about the, 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 the traditional scroll the traditional way and better uh, okay uh, a, a performance of way and better it's it's uh, it's made by dalang that opened the scroll a scroll on which uh, several scenes are painted and uh, he, that contain of course a story a set complete container story and dalang has a, a very important duty in this uh, in this performance, because uh, uh, is the only that can uh, uh, can give the idea of what is represented in the in the uh, in the scroll, uh, and uh, and is the only guide for the audience uh, that cannot see any movement. So it's a very very uh, static performance, and uh, there's no puppets. So no, no time to, 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 to devote to the movement of the puppets with technique. So the technique is just in the storytelling. Uh, I think I didn't lose too much time to explain this historical stuff. So we can, we can go to, the, uh, to the, 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 the topic of this seminar because we are in a sort of collaboration with the uh, architecture program. So. Uh, it was nice for me to talk about uh, uh, space and uh, landscape and perspective in in Wyambe Bear because uh, um, because I have the the, the 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 chance to share this with architecture with architects and experts in in the field so I can I can be inspired also about your uh, your opinion the opinion that you will have. Uh, in the in the following discussion uh okay uh the two now after i say this we can see some images but i would like to say that in the two uh in the two in the two scrolls the two traditional scrolls Kiremen Mangunjaya two stories Kiremen Mangunjaya and Joko Mangunjaya we have two shared elements, uh, so two elements in common as regard the landscape space and perspective. The absence of focal point, this means that uh, every uh, object and surrounding are depicted independently of one another. It's, uh, it's like if they are known to be rather than they are seen to be. And, uh, and another uh, feature is that they are uh, the direction, the direction which they are presented uh, uh, is uh, is different from from characters to another. The system does not produce the illusion of depth, but the sense that an object and their surrounding have been uh, um, compressed within a shallow space behind the picture plane. The other feature is the multifaceted perspective. This is uh, this is a, 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 a uh, this is a trick that uh, can be obtained by the, the, the thanks to the uh, particular depiction of the characters. So uh, actually, we can see okay, we can see how characters are represented in the in the in the images. This is this is the uh, Why Amber Pachitan in is the the Joko Kenbankoning narrative. Uh, so we can see the the characters. They have their bodies is, is uh, depicted in a particular manner because they have uh, the bodies of the characters is uh, depicted from the front with their heads as profiles, but with both cheeks and eyes visible to the audience. Uh, legs and arms are very uh, are, are long, 
and are pictured from the side, and legs are one beside the other as, as working. We will, we will see this in the next image. Yeah, as you can see here. So as they walk. Uh, this is an image of the, the is, actually this is the first scene of the first floor of uh, here Meng Mangujaya. It's a picture that I took in, in, in Galara because I had the, the, the chance to see this, this, uh, this scroll, but not the, the other. Uh, so, as I see, there's, as I saw, uh, as I said, there's a common element. Of course, we have also difference between the two, the two uh, scrolls, the two set of scrolls in, in the picture. Uh, in Wayan Weber Pacitan, the background, as you as you uh, uh, as you seen by the, the in the first images, is full of decorative motor, uh, motifs and color details, and there's no empty space. Uh, the fact that uh, there's no empty space is um, is a sort of conception that uh, uh, that when I was in Bali studying the the, the, the Kamasan style that. That I think is the the is the uh, Wayan Weber as it was before the, the 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 spread of Islam. So before the symbolization of characters uh, in uh, in Weber uh, is a sort of uh, formula called Rame Nansepi. So empty and 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 and, and quiet. Uh, and the fact that this there's no empty space is a sort of uh, as a, as in painting is called, is sort of horror vacui. That means uh, uh, means fear of empty space. Is a sort of uh, a concept that 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 doesn't doesn't accept the, the the empty space in something in in an image, in an image. Uh, so and why am Bergelara, as we 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 seen, but we will see in the photo. Is the background is uh, is plainer. The color range is limited, and there's uh, uh, there are some reference points. Uh, what I mean is that in the uh, in the Wayan Weber uh, uh, Pachitan, uh, we don't have any any landmark, a difference from uh, Remeng Mangujoyo, and it seems that the, the the a single scene is made on three levels, like upper, medium, and high level. But we can see all of all I said uh, in uh, in the image. Okay, this is why I'm the Pachitan Joko Kamankuning is the the the, the 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 older between among the two, and uh, as you can see, the the landscape is made by a lot of uh, color details, and uh, is a bit uh, is not so clear. Is a bit confusing. What we can notice. Is the, the presence of the, the kekayon that is a, a symbolic figure? It's the sort of axis mundi. Is the tree of life that represents symbolically the the, the, the union between uh, between the the the, the, the ev even and her. So there's always this duality in way the the, the, the uh, if bad uh, good and evil. And uh, uh, peace and chaos, peace and war. So it's always kind of a, a relationship between uh, microcosm and macrocosm that in in the figure is represented by the the, the kekayon. So colorful details, as you see, is very very full of colorful detail, and this can create a sort of uh, um, Confusion of perspective in the human eye. Here enter the the the, the, the dalang. Uh, before I said that the dati of the dalang is very difficult in Wayamba. Now we have the the, the 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 real example. Why I said this? Because the dalang in this has to guide the the, the eye and the mind of the of the user uh, in make in understanding what what is 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 watching. And uh, so all the, the concept, all the, the detail owns a sort of symbolical uh, meaning 
and it's the duty of the wine to explain us, to explain the audience what, what is going on in the scene and to give uh, details because uh, as you can see uh, at, at first sight, okay, we see uh, a sort of dialogue between two personages and their companions. But after that, we don't have any, any, any reference about the landscape, about the place. And, uh, uh, and actually, this is, this is an imaging, uh, the, a, a scene that is in, is in the inside of a, of, a, of a place. So it's not outside. The other image was outside. So the, uh, little changes about the two, the two endings. So landscape is very, is very uh, confused. And, and it's, it's the dialogue that guides the perception of the audience and stimulate the ability to, uh, to, 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 uh, to find consistency in this, in this confusion. Uh, we can call it abstractionism, but uh, it's a sort of uh, painting technique that enhance the, 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 the the philosophical concept, the metaphysic of the uh, of the why am I there? As you can see in this other image, I hope the the, the, the resolution is good. And uh, this is a, a Kiremen Mangujoyo part of the Gelaram scroll. Uh, is, is in the province of Jogjakarta Gelaram, Kidul. We can see how the uh, the, 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 the background is plainer respect to the, the, the other examples. And uh, we can see the three level, which I talked before. So the low level is where, this is a scene where uh, Panji, that is the, the character on, the, on our right, uh, accept a sort of a challenge to cross to cross this river uh, on a bamboo cane, and uh, these are uh, to to marry uh, Chandra Kirana, that is the the, the the queen of the rain, the princess of the rain of uh, Kediri, and uh, these are all the other participants of uh, the challenge that of course didn't succeed, and this is Panji going going to Chandra Kirana, that is is the other. Uh, characters on the left that is uh, accompanied by the two companion or Panakawa, very important figures in uh, in in Wai. And the third plan, you, as you can see, uh, is um, is full of characters that are part of the. the these are the, the sort of a sort of team of the people that are challenging. And on our left, uh, the we can see the, 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 the good part on our right, the, 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 the evil part. That could be also considered as a sort of upper level. Is the, is the Wayang, is the, is the Dalang that explain us who are these characters and, and so on. So we have, we need a guide. But I would like to make you notice that, uh, as I said before, uh, there's no, uh, no focal point. I found actually that in Wayambeber uh, Wayambeber Gelaran in, in Kiremeng Mangujoyo narratives, uh, this is not true for every scene. So it's, it's, it's uh, um, this style change in, in among different scenes because uh, uh, here we this 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 detail that we see on the top of the uh, of the screen uh, between the two team, the good and evil, it's a sort of uh, um, uh, is a symbol that is in every we can find in every scene, not always the same, but is a sort of uh, in one scene can be considered a sun. Here is a sort of uh, flying object. Um, in this, the fantasy can 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 go far can go far because uh, there's a lot of little detail that, uh, uh, that must be uh, studied in, in the scene of the Wayambebe. So, uh, as you can see here, this 
uh, this work as a as a focal point because uh, is the first detail that that pick our eyes so uh, and it seems also there's a sort of a geometrical uh, uh, geometrical movement and uh, it's a sort of triangle between the two personages this element and so on triangle between the 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 the, the, the characters on the left the symbols and the team and uh, uh, also between panji the the the, the, the detail and the the, the the evil forces uh, so it's always very very uh, interesting to see how detail works in the in the scene and it's interesting to see that in other scene we can uh, we can see um, always representation of triangle here you can see in the middle of the scene this triangle of water and uh, okay the, the the presentation finished but i would like to to make you see some other thing share screen uh, yes some other scene yeah so here i can I can use a bit of zoom. This is the first scene of the Wayan uh, Beber Kiremen Mangujoyo, the scrolls, the set of scroll from uh, Gelaran. And here a lot of uh, details are interesting. As I told you before, there are landmarks in the in the landscape of uh, uh, of Wayan Beber. Uh, Gelaran. Uh, here we can find a sort of uh, pendopo, typical Javanese uh, uh, building, and here another uh, build. And uh, this uh, this remind me of the carvings in the image in the image that I show you before uh, of carvings. We can see landmarks similar to this. I can go to the image. I hope you can follow me in this and uh, here you can see building and the same pendopo is here three and another three here so the the, the, the scene is really really similar to, to that in, 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 the, in the in the in the detail that I uh, that I put on, on, on screen and you can see Kekayon or Gunungan here is present at the, the, the beginning and the end of every scene. Here, the other part of the scene is not uh, showed, but it's a sort of limit where, where a scene starts and ends. So here we can see the, 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 the geometrical elements that I gave you before triangle between personages is the two Panakawan make a sort of triangle with the principal characters and also between the third level as I told you before there's always somebody that look at what happened and uh, the the focal point in this in this scene is this kind of uh, of sun that we can see at the top of the images in the central part and uh, this I think can be a sort of focal point because we can see the perspective of the personages so I'm not always agree uh, with, the, with the idea that no focal pointers in the, in the perspective of the, the scene in Wayan Beber and uh, we can see the contrary in the Joko uh, Bankunin uh, scene, as you can see, for sure in this uh, in this in this background full of details of color details and very very nice. For sure, there are landmarks and uh, uh, and reference points, but in this in this case, is the Dalan that really has to uh, really has to guide the user because it's difficult. 
as you can see, there's also imaging of zoomorphic uh, characters, but actually is everything is very confused. We can see the the the, mm, the cacaion, and as we, we can we can see that m almost everything it's every detail is a sort of cacaion. And uh, but the, the okay, there's the one at the beginning of the scene and the other the end of the scene. There's all there's another one between the two uh, the two main characters that usually uh, means uh, dialogue in Wayan Beber and also in Wayan Kamasan. And uh, here uh, maybe we can notice also the tree plan that I talked before. But everything is is more confusing, and I think is not uh, uh, is not a coincidence. Uh, the the symbology of this uh, of the images I think was one of the main feature of the why I'm there. Joko This is the same. Okay, this is another images and yeah landscape as you can see is almost always the same because when when we observe it's different but very very similar uh, among, among different scenes so uh, the three level plan here it seems that the third level is missing but you can see this kind of kekayon that became a gunungan so mountain and uh, and something I want to make you notice is also the, the confusing way to uh, to represent the characters, the space between the characters. They look like they are thick one another, but the the, the proportion, uh, the the space between the characters is not that confused. That means that. For sure, there is a focal point, but it's difficult to to find. And um, I think this uh, this can uh, can take us again to the to the Dalang. Uh, is is the skills uh, the skills of the Dalang to use the the theatrical illusion, the theatrical Maya, that reconstruct all the 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 the, the landscape, all the details. Uh, in um, in order to give us not a clear image, but not only uh, a clear image for our eyes, but a clear image in mind, because guiding us uh, through the stories, through the narratives, but also through the the the, the, the place in which the, the narrative goes on, and uh, it's important. And uh, here we can say that this show the the, the the duality of the the Wayang in general, but Wayang but there is a sort of uh, getting lost and find find a way back, and the Dalang as the 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 major duality in this in this uh, in this case. Thanks a lot, terima kasih. Thank you very much, uh, Mas Nando. It's very interesting. And then uh, when we see the Wayang Beber, also it's very colorful. Okay, for all the participants, we will be uh, hold um, for, uh, for the question and answer because we would like to introduce going to Dr. Afi Marlina before we go to the question and answer time, yeah? I would like to introduce Ibu Dr. Afi Marlina now on Ibu Afi Marlina as the head of the master program in architecture and recently uh, Ibu Dr. Afi Marlina has uh, research uh, on Wayang Beber with the community for uh, during these two years. So that's why when um, he is coming for us and said uh, the theme is Wayang Beber. So we are very happy because we can connect uh, Ibu Afi Marlina to Mas Nando and we are talking uh, the vlog for webinars to give a more wider perspective going to our students. 
And yeah, Ibu Alvin Marlina currently um, uh, uh, doing this research uh, with the community of Wayang Beber in uh, Jeron Beteng uh, in Surakarta and have uh, many activities going to um, senior high school, uh, uh, to the schools and teaching the senior high school, junior high school students uh, about the technique doing of Wayang Beber. So, um, Ibu Afi will give a presentation, deliver the presentation with Bahasa Indonesia. So, for the one who cannot really know uh, Bahasa Indonesia, probably Kisera can um, uh, become a translator. <laughs> or, yeah. Um, then, okay, Ibu Afi, I welcome you. Uh, being our first speaker in this seminar, have a please for around 15 minutes. Uh, thank you, Ibu Ruli. Okay. Ibu Ruli, mungkin sudah bisa dilihat ya. Yeah, it's Sudah bisa clear. Tampilnya? Yeah, it's okay. clear. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, thank you for inviting me to join this webinar, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, postgraduate students and undergraduate students. Uh, good morning and good afternoon. Uh, today I will explain about how the architecture study program, the Faculty of Engineering UNS in collaboration with LEPPM UNS, conducted a regeneration of uh, Wayang Beber painting skills to high school students in uh, Surakarta. Uh, so uh, why do we need the regeneration of Wayang Beber? Uh, because I think uh, so many uh, Japanese people, especially the younger generation, they don't know about uh, Wayang Beber. It is very ironic that uh, Japanese people don't know about Wayang Beber. So we need uh, education and regeneration activities. Why did I choose high school for the first step in regeneration? Uh, I, because I think uh, that high school has gotten art and culture lesson starting from elementary and junior and high school. So we consider high school to be able to represent the millennial generation uh, with culture and artistic backgrounds. It means uh, that uh, high school students are familiar with uh, color composition, uh, painting techniques, uh, with, uh, color, with watercolor or water paint and so on. Wayang Beber is a Japanese sedo puppet and Wayang Beber is Wayang is a Japanese sedo puppet and Wayang Beber is an art of painting Wayang characters on a sheet or paper. Uh, in Japanese is called a paper. And the characters are painted based on the order of the scenes of stories of Mahabharata and Ramayana and Wayang Beber also tell about uh, the love story of Panji Asmoro Bangun and Dewi Skartaji, or uh, we know that uh, Galu Chandra Kirono. The stories are played by unfolding the sheets. Wayang Beber, one of the oldest art form in the history of Wayang in Indonesia, and Wayang Beber was born long before Wayang Kulit, and we know as the uh, Sedu puppets, yes. There is so many people don't know about Wayang Beber, including my generation, yes. I'm sure many people don't know about Wayang Beber. So far, most uh, the people are more familiar with uh, Wayang Orang or Wayang Kulit. The purpose of education and regeneration activities uh, to give a solution to give solution about the problem faced uh, by high school 
uh, that have a students mostly consisting of a millennial generation who less familiar with a Japanese traditional art of painting painting particularly the painting wayang beber Uh, okay. The other problem is that the rarity of this art form in Surakarta and the de uh, decreasing number of its painters. Therefore, uh, education and regeneration activities are held to introduce and train the skill of painting Wayang Weber to high school students, hence protecting in uh, this form of art form extension. And the expected result is uh, the student improvement of uh, knowledge and skill in painting Wayang Beber and uh, think a regeneration of skill in painting Wayang Beber to avoid extinction. Transfer knowledge about what is Wayang Beber is very important uh, for the first step regeneration. Okay, uh, millennial generation have uh, several problems, yes, like uh, limitation of knowledge related to painting wayang beber. Uh, so they need uh, improvement of knowledge related uh, to painting wayang beber. Thus, we need a uh, guiding and training in painting wayang beber, assisted by the wayang beber painters. Uh, second, uh, the second problem is the limitation of materials related to painting wayang paper. Uh, so they need the uh, improvement, uh, I think improvement of uh, provision of materials for painting wayang paper. Uh, uh, we made a guiding and training and using material needed for uh, painting wayang paper. Uh, the third is uh, limitation of trainers painters or artists of wayang beber painting. Uh, so they, they need a uh, improvement of a uh, profession of trainer or painter, painter or artist of wayang beber. Uh, so mm. we, uh, we can do a profession of a trainers, painter of uh, artists of wayang beber. Oh no? Uh, and uh, next uh, limitation, uh, we ha uh, they have a limitation of technique in painting wayang beber and limitation in promotion of wayang beber. So we have, uh, uh, we need uh, to uh, improvement of knowledge and skill in painting wayang beber and improvement of making tutorial about painting. Thus, uh, we made a training of technique in painting wayang beber and creating a video tutorial about a painting wayang beber which are upload onto a YouTube, Instagram, and so on. Oh, sorry. Uh, the relation between architecture and wayang beber are both learning about color composition, uh, form composition, uh, proportion, scale, uh, tracing. Tracing in, in Javanese is called ngeblat or jipla, ya, ngeblat. Itu kan eh, eh, in Javanese, yes. Uh, rendering technique uh, in uh, wayang beber was called a sungging. The use of the same uh, coloring tool as a drawing pen, Chinese pen, a paintbrush, and uh, so on. So it's clear that why I involve team from architecture and architecture student uh, in UNS to accompany uh, high school students along with expert or pasungging wayang beber to provide education and training of 
Atenik and Painting Wayang Beber. Architecture and Wayang Beber both, uh, I think, uh, express the uh, creativity of art in the space setting. Mm -hmm. As we see that the architecture, we are talking about a setting and space. Uh, uh, maybe it uh, can be residential space, area, likewise uh, Wayang Beber is uh, depicted in the picture of a uh, space setting as we can see in the uh, I think in the Wayang Beber painting contain the form of uh, the uh, uh, like a uh, pendopo the roof of a house a soko or, uh, or column and the environmental setting as in the architectural perspective. Yes, uh, the first step in the introduction with um, the educational space, the student are uh, introduced to the form of Wayang Beber painting seeds, uh, tool and material use, uh, how the character of painting, a uh, color composition, and how to the paint with the uh, character of Wayang Beber. Tracing uh, uh, in Japanese is called the blood. Uh, the next stage is a tracing uh, process. Uh, the stage uh, users make a uh, object in the classroom uh, by using a translucent glass windows so that the master image of the painting is uh, clearly visible and can be drawn on code uh, in Japanese is called mori. Yes, this is uh, working in group uh, creates enthusiasm uh, for learning how the, to paint wayang beber. The architecture students are able to accompany high school students because they already have knowledge about color composition, shape, or form, proportion, scale, and so on. Uh, this is the coloring process. is a company the director by expert Wayang Weber. We call a pasungi. Uh, this is Mr. Uh, Joko. He is Mr. Uh, Mr. Joko Sriono. Uh, he is uh, the only one pasungging wayang beber in uh, Surakarta Kasunanan Peles. Yes, this is the result of the painting of high school students uh, with uh, wayang beber color, uh, wayang beber color composition. Uh, characters uh, with uh, generally use a bright color like yellow, red, green, orange, and it's Yes. Uh, the workshop that we did was only taking uh, a few scenes uh, from Wayang Beber story, not the, uh, not the whole Wayang Beber scenes because this is for the first introduction. According to me, uh, I think the result of painting uh, for high school students have been extraordinary. Within a few months, it has been able to produce a very, very good paintings, I think. Uh, this is also the result of the painting of high school students. Okay. Uh, the publication with YouTube aims to introduce the art of Wayang Beber painting to the public, especially millennial generation. This publication is expected to motivate the community uh, and the millennial generation to regenerate skills in painting wayang beber, so it will not uh, it will not become extinct. Yes, uh, for people and millennial generation, 
uh, who want to learn about wayang beber painting, they can see a uh, video tutorial on how to paint wayang beber. This video was made by uh, UNS architecture students. Yes, and the wayang beber painting works from high school students are uh, framed to exhibit it at the art exhibition at the school. The art exhibition attended by student parents. Yes, this is a painting for wayang beber by high school student. It's displayed along the main entrance of the art exhibition. Yes, we can see. Uh, yes, uh, wayang beber painting are uh, placed in the main uh, exhibition area. Thank you for your attention. And uh, cekap semantan atur kaulo matur nun. Thank you very much, uh, Ibu Afi. We did the claps uh, from very far away. Uh, yes, it is interesting, yeah. Uh, Mas Nando described about uh, what is the element landscape in uh, Wayang Beber. And then coming with the second speakers, we can see how really uh, colorful um, that uh, it was doing by the uh, senior high school students did um, making wayang bebe with uh, their imagination and i'm wondering is it is it okay buafi if we also did the colorful with the a bit monochrome not really bright uh, like uh, the tone colors right uh, the new trends today is uh, not really bright but is it okay <laughs> for buafi okay later uh, okay then now is going to the question and answer we already get the question from YouTube first because I found the question is from the YouTube not from the zoom we, um, from the Yulianto Bapak Yulianto Kim um, going to uh, Ferdinando uh, Mas Nando okay Mas Nando Ma, yes. uh, Pak Yulianto Kim asking uh, when uh, in the mix of the wayang beber start uh, Use using uh, by fabrics. Uh, sorry, uh, I will go to the YouTube. Yeah, uh, Pa Yulian Tokin asking you about. Um, uh, okay, when the makers of Wayang Beber started using fabric and neglected lontar. And then the second one are the driving technique is the same with batik and what kind of paint they use. Thank you. Okay, thanks, Pa Yulianto. Uh, okay, when the makers of YMB started using fabric and neglected lontar, actually uh, they didn't didn't start when the lontar was uh, began to be neglected, began to be uh, less used. They start with the daluang that in any case was not fabric but was uh, it was a, a natural production of uh, kertas ponorogo from the tree bark so kulit kayu uh, so it uh, it became during the majapahit period and the the, the, the the aim of this change in support was uh, was due to the uh, to the need to enlarge the figure of the wayambe bear first when only a single picture was drawn on the on the Diluang and then thanks to the bigger surface uh, of the uh, of the Diluang that we can obtain by, uh, with Diluang so then became a scroll so Lontar uh, Lontar actually Lontar is still used in, uh, in Bali so never never stopped to be used but we, it's not exact to say that Lontar was neglected by fabric because the, the process was uh, remained natural. It was just tree, beaten tree bark. And uh, today, yeah, with the way Ambeber uh, Contemporaire, they use paper or, uh, or uh, canvas. But at the time, the Luang was still a natural, uh, natural uh, support, as was the, the paint. 
the paint, uh, the, the, the color of the painting were obtained, were get by natural ingredients as uh, human bones uh, or uh, leaf uh, and so on for the different colors. So just natural uh, ingredients. And batik, uh, no, it, it can uh, resemble to the batik, but the technique of coloration of batik is different. Uh, we don't have to forget that in that Weyambeber is always a painting product, so uh, it's uh, yeah, it's different. Thanks. Okay, thank you, Nando. And then, okay, goes to come in the second question from the Zoom. Uh, we are going to the Marco, yeah, Marco. Selamat sore, Pak Marco Kusuma Wijaya. Uh, yang sudah join 30 menit sebelumnya di Jakarta. Uh, he asks you um, to Ferdinando, when the dalang is performing, does he scroll open the whole uh, beber at once or bit by bit? Okay, thanks, Pa Marco. Uh, yes, th these are details that I uh, that I didn't give because if I start to to talk about that. I already bring a lot of time, so I didn't have. No, uh, the actually the Dalang when performing uh, Yambeber opens one scene at a time, so you never see the the whole the entire scroll, and every scroll is made by. I'm talking about the the, the two, two traditional sets. Every scroll is made by four scene, so the Dalang performed open the first screen, the first scene. Sorry and screen it to the, to the audience. And then with the help of two wooden sticks, two wooden tricks, he turn the wooden tricks, closing one scene and allowing the other to come to our site. Thanks. Okay, I think it's uh, quite interesting, yeah. And um, Kisera, do you have something to say? Oh, please unmute. <laughs> yes, okay. Um, we have here uh, Ibu Tamalia. I will lower your hand so you can speak. Uh, um, yes, I'd like to ask um, Ibu Afi, uh, when you're teaching the SM, uh, SMP students, um, do you only teach the old stories or do you also allow the students to create new stories? Uh, you know, something millennial, maybe a story now about the coronavirus, something like that. That's a very interesting question. Okay, Ibu Afi, can you answer it? Yes, okay. Uh, terima kasih, Ibu Ruli. Mohon maaf, saya menjawab dengan bahasa Indonesia. Tak pesalah. <laughs> okay, gini. Uh, jadi waktu kami mengajar di mengajarkan teknik-teknik uh, uh, melukis wayang beber ini di SMA, kami menggunakan teknik-teknik yang lama. Jadi belum artinya belum belum menggunakan cerita-cerita yang baru seperti COVID gitu belum. Jadi artinya anak-anak itu kan belum mengenal sama sekali tentang wayang beber itu apa. Sehingga uh, kami ingin anak-anak tahu terlebih dahulu wayang beber itu sebenarnya uh, seperti apa, karakternya bagaimana, ceritanya seperti apa, kemudian uh, baru diajari teknik-tekniknya. Begitu, Ibu. Tapi di masa depan mungkin? Oh ya, oh ya, harapan kami begitu, Ibu. Harapan kami ke depan semoga uh, ini bisa dikembangkan ya. Artinya tekniknya mungkin menggunakan teknik wayang beber. Tapi mungkin tema-temanya mungkin bisa milenial, sehingga anak-anak bisa oh, tertarik, iya. gitu ya, seperti yeah. itu ibu. Advokasi COVID. Terima kasih ibu Tamalia. Uh, sebelum ini, uh, se tahan dulu Bu Afi. Ini ada pertanyaan lagi dalam bahasa Indonesia dari Pak Yulianto Kim di YouTube ya, di YouTube channel. Uh, apakah ada pakem dalam pembuatan wayang beber ya? Apakah harus selalu dengan teknik ngeblat? Uh, seandainya bisa langsung dibuat ke kain gitu, apakah bisa langsung? Is there any uh, uh, direct yeah. technique to drawing uh, wayang beber uh, through uh, the fabric? Uh, terima kasih. Uh, jadi begini, uh, pada intinya sebenarnya untuk melukis wayang beber itu sebenarnya kan langsung ya. 
Cuman ini karena uh, kita kan uh, untuk anak SMA yang belum tahu apa-apa, sehingga kita buatkan masternya terlebih dahulu. Jadi dari potongan-potongan cerita dari WNBB, kita ambilkan beberapa potongan cerita, kemudian kita buatkan masternya, kemudian anak-anak diajari mulai ngeblat dulu dengan uh, menggunakan mori. Nah, seperti itu. Tapi pada intinya sih, uh, semoga kedepannya sudah bisa langsung ya, tanpa harus mengeblat. Ini hanya seba- sebagai proses uh, tahap ya, tahap yang paling awal untuk pengenalan. Begitu. Oke, ini sekalian lanjut lagi ya. Ada pertanyaan dari Oke. Mbak Meta Sari dan uh, Mas Irwan Unarlan uh, di Youtube ya. Uh, ya. Tingkat kesulitan juga dibandingkan dengan pembatik bagaimana? Dan aplikasi wayang bebek ke produk kerajinan, apakah uh, di Solo sudah terwujud? Dan yang kemudian uh, hampir bersamaan pertanyaannya Pak Irwan Murna, uh, Unarlan, uh, apakah wayang bebek bisa diangkat dalam sebuah salah satu motif batik? And I think probably this question also can answer by Nando for the last one. But I have a place Bu Afi to uh, answer first. Oke, okay. uh, jadi kalau dilihat dari tingkat kesulitan dengan batik, sebenarnya ini spesifik masing-masing, uh, saya katakan sama-sama unik, sama-sama spesifik ya. Jadi uh, saya tidak bisa mengatakan apakah itu wayang beber lebih sulit, itu kayaknya uh, tergantung dari masing-masing anak uh, dalam kecepatan dalam memahami teknik-teknik tersebut. Jadi intinya, batik itu juga punya keunikan dan juga susah juga, karena seperti misalnya batik itu ada batik teruntung, ada batik kawung, kemudian ada batik lereng, dan sebagainya. Di sini juga ada pakemnya, makanya kemarin waktu kita mengajarkan, itu kita ambil pakem-pakem yang lama dulu, sehingga anak-anak tahu, oh ini tingkat kesulitannya seperti ini. Tetapi berdasarkan uh, uh, lapangan ya, setelah kita memberikan beberapa bulan uh, pendampingan ke adik-adik, ternyata anak SMA uh, artinya itu dengan mudah uh, uh, memberikan pewarnaan. Jadi kan artinya ini kan uh, apa ya uh, subjektif sekali ya. Anak-anak ternyata bisa. Kami waktu itu awalnya pesimis ya. Waduh, dengan tingkat kesulitan yang harus pakai gradasi, jadi mulai warna muda, warna tua, kemudian terakhir harus disungging gitu kan ya. Itu waktu itu saya pesimis sekali, tapi ternyata uh, alhamdulillah uh, anak-anak itu dengan cepat bisa memahami itu menurut saya sampai saya itu sampai aduh ya Allah alhamdulillah anak-anak ternyata bisa gitu kan seperti itu. Oke, okay, thank you very much Bu Afi. It's a really positive feeling. And then going to Nando uh, for this question ya. Yeah. Uh, is it possible the motif of wayang beber can make going to the batik fabrics uh, one of the batik motif? Uh, I think that already exists some batik with the uh, wire motifs. So yes, I think it will be possible. Of course, uh, as uh, Ibuavi said, uh, as I said before, the technique is different. So because batik has to as a long process to be especially colored. Um, wire berry is a bit more direct. The technique, the sanging technique of coloration is not that easy, but. Uh, for sure is, uh, is, is shorter than the, the, the batik method of coloration. Thank you very much. And then we'll go back again to um, Kisera. Oh, and please unmute. <laughs> okay. Uh, we have a question from uh, Professor Soriente. Um, can you unmute yourself? Oh, oh, sorry. Okay. No, I see. No, yes, I'm. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm really glad to. Uh, well, I just want to congratulate to both uh, the um, presenters and also uh, from this effort to uh, create this kind of interdisciplinarity um, in this kind of. Uh, perspective of talking about uh, cultural issues. So I'm really happy to see uh, two different uh, speakers actually uh, uh, departing from, uh, from different um, perspective. Uh, but uh, probably that was really a good point uh, because, uh, and, there, and here comes my question, uh, can we really consider Wayan Beber a form of performance? Uh, probably it's just a form of uh, visual art. Uh, or uh, um, um, 
I understand that actually uh, open a scroll of Wayan Weber is probably just a way of reading, it's like reading a story without actually a text, but uh, uh, thanks to the capabilities of the Dalang to tell a story. So the question is, uh, do you really think it's a matter of uh, performing arts or probably it's just a matter of uh, storytelling? And uh, um, another question is, uh, do you have any um, notion idea of what was the reception of the people attending a, a kind of storytelling through um, uh, through Wayan Weber uh, in the past and also maybe today or more recently uh, and also the difference between Galaran and Pachitan uh, maybe just from the name probably there's a difference uh, in the two uh, genres because uh, Galaran probably means something that has to be shown and the other one is just to be seen. I don't know. I mean, do you think there's a difference in this, uh, uh, in this way? Now, yeah. question probably goes to, uh, mm -hmm. goes to, uh, to Nando, but uh, I don't know, Ibu Marlina also probably can say something. Okay, thank you, Professor. Uh, have a please, Nando. Uh, thanks, Antonio, for your question. Very interesting question. Uh, okay, okay, I want to, to answer directly and um, yes uh, the, 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 and I read also another question about the main purpose of the YR performance at the time so yes uh, the, 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 the situation of between visual art and performing art okay the, the purpose of why I'm there was uh, I think in past I'm quite sure that this was a ritual purpose and so uh, it was, yes, it was storytelling with the visual support and um, for sure uh, it was not a performing art. I mean, a sort of, uh, uh, of amusing time for, uh, for people. So I think that Wayam Beber, a, a performance of Wayam Beber um, held, was held for, uh, for important reason, as ritual reason, as, uh, I don't know, ritual passage like uh, birth or... Uh, uh, marriage, but also for cleansing ceremony and especially for cleansing ceremony because we have a historical source that proved that yeah, actually Wayamber was the ritual to perform the, the, the Ruwata, the, the, the cleansing ceremony or exorcism. Uh, as reward the reception of the people, uh, when I gave uh, the, the, the historical data, I talked about uh, a chronicle from uh, uh, from the Chinese monk Ma Huan. Uh, it was the first description of how of the Wayan Beber of a Wayan Beber performance as we know it today, with the, the long scroll and the dalang that explain the picture and so on. And uh, the the, the Ma Huan gives also some uh, uh, some remark about how the people feeling during this. Uh, uh, this performance. And he said that people react to the word of the Dalang crying or laughing or uh, showing emotion and sometimes also joining the conversation with the Dalang as is, is used also today in a uh, Wayan performance, Wayan Pulit or Wayan Golek performance. As regard Gelaran and Pachitan, okay, Gelaran and Pachitan are the, the two places where uh, the, 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 the scrolls, the, the, the traditional, the two sets of traditional scrolls are kept. Actually, yes, Gelaran, Gelar has also the meaning of uh, unfold. And, um, but I don't think there's any, uh, um, any, it's just a coincidence because there's no link about, because uh, for, for time, I'm calling this, this, uh, this set of scroll uh, Wayan Beber Gelaran, but it is mm, more known under the name of uh, Wayan Beber Wonosari or Wayan Beber Gununkidu. So I think it's just referred to the place. Okay. And uh, it's, it's interesting to think about uh, one is to be performed and the other just to be to be seen, to be shown to people, uh, because uh, there's there's an interesting uh, uh, an interesting data that I found in uh, some interview with people talking around the uh, Wayamba there, and um, one 
in one interview, when my, my interviewer said that, that um, actually, of course, there's philosophical meaning behind the two scouts, but he, he compared also to, uh, to the, the, the human being as a female part and a male part. So, uh, Joko, um, Joko Kumban Kunin, that is the Wayamabara from Pachitan, the, the one that is very colored with colorful details, should be the, the, the feminine part. And Kiremen Mangujaya, this more simple, uh, is a plain in its landscape, must be the, 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 the man. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting to think about this, this perspective. And uh, probably the, 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 the trend just to show, especially when, when the two scrolls arrived in the, these two little villages, because, because uh, uh, Pachitan, uh, the, villages, the village in Pachitan and the village in Gurunfidur in Buenos Aires, they are very little uh, uh, place. Uh, so I don't know if it was a, a sort of a, a showing a performance, no, just showing performance. I think, especially in the villages, was meant as a, as a ritual. Okay, thank you, Nando. So I think we are going. Uh, Ibu Afi, do you want to have a adding comment? Okay, uh, mungkin saya akan nambah sedikit ya. Uh, begini. Jadi sebenarnya kan wayang beber itu kan wayang yang untuk uh, ritual ya. Ritual penuh sakral, sehingga pada waktu itu kan kalau saya baca-baca, saya lihat literatur gitu kan ya, itu kan uh, uh, untuk uh, mengadakan acara, itu kan perlu ada ada sesajen ya kan, uh, kemudian dia, dia juga ada menyan dan sebagainya, karena itu memang sifatnya uh, uh, sangat sakral. Tetapi uh, setelah saya melihat ke arah uh, ke arah sini ya, kalau artinya seperti itu hanya digunakan untuk sakral saja, mungkin ini akan segera punah gitu loh. Karena untuk kaum milenial otomatis sudah tidak mengenal dunia lain ya, maksud saya dunia dunia sakral gitu kan, sudah, sudah beda uh, pola berpikirnya kan sudah berbeda. Kemudian saya belajar dari uh, dalang Seno Nugroho atau dalang slang ya, wayang kulit ya. Jadi gini, Kalau wayang kulit dahulu itu juga digunakan untuk uh, event-event atau kegiatan yang sangat sakra ya, seperti misalnya perkawinan, kemudian uh, sunatan, uh, atau uh, kemudian ada juga ruatan ya kan, diruat ya kan untuk menghilangkan semua yang negatif dari diri kita kan membersihkan. Nah ternyata uh, dalam seno ini kalau saya mengikuti jejaknya uh, dia bisa mengemas. mengemas wayang kulit itu menjadi wayang yang disukai oleh generasi milenial. Artinya begini, uh, secara pakem wayang kulit, ya kan? Secara pakem wayang kulit uh, beliau masih menggunakan, tetapi uh, ada in, uh, apa namanya intermeso intermeso yang uh, uh, sangat menarik, khususnya pada saat limbuan ya, itu membuat sekarang subscribernya kan luar biasa. Itu kan di YouTube itu. Nah, ini saya berpikir mungkin wayang beber juga kalau ingin dikembangkan, artinya tetap pakemnya ada, tetapi mungkin modifikasi-modifikasi dalam penyampaian dalam, seperti ini saya baca juga ada pertanyaan di Zoom ya, itu kan bisa dimodifikasi. Oke, berarti itu kan perlu perlu ada diskusi khusus dengan ahli wayang beber ya. Saat kapan wayang beber itu ditampilkan pakem, seperti wayang kulit, saat kapan Uh, itu uh, dimodifikasi, kemudian diberikan cerita-cerita yang menarik atau lelucon-lelucon yang menarik sehingga orang uh, tidak boring untuk melihat begitu. Oke, okay, terima kasih Bu Afi. Ini ada pertanyaan dari Mbak Truli. Sorry, sorry, sorry Ruli, because no, no, no. I think I, I forgot to 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 to, to add something. Uh, okay, have a please. Yeah, to to answer the last part of the question of uh, Antonia uh, okay. about about the performing art uh, nowadays. I think nowadays, as uh, Ibu Abi was trying to, to, to say, uh, um, I think nowadays it's just a performing art. Mm. The, the, the ritual character, it, okay, today we can assist uh, to very rarely to uh, performance of Wayambeber Pachitan and Wayambeber uh, Gelaran. And they are still considered as a ritual. Also, if reproduction with, uh, with this, there's also There are also reproduction of these two sets of scroll. So when we 
uh, when the, 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 the perform is made with the reproduction, lo lose the sacral, but still the audience feel the sacral meaning of that story. But as regards the way I'm aware, uh, con the contemporary way of the way I'm aware, of course, today I think, um, uh, okay, for Dalang and for the troupe, there's a sort of ritual meaning. But for people, for audience, it is just considered a performing art, a sort of uh, uh, join uh, an ancient uh, performing art, but uh, the, 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 the topics of the Lacan, of the narratives change. They are, they are direct to, to young people, so talking about uh, corruption, uh, pollution, and political situation. So nowadays, it's just, I think, theater. So I but think... Uh, can, I ask, can I add something? I mean, uh, to me, it seems to be just like storytelling, which is something that uh, is very, very powerful. I mean, in Indonesia, we know that orality and storytelling is a very important uh, thing. And mm. I know that from also from other cultures with which I'm more concerned with, there is an interaction, of course. The point is, why do we consider it to be a performance when nothing really performs anything? And in another case, um, do actually uh, the spectators uh, go close to the uh, to the picture to the 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 the, the beber and comments? I mean, they look at the, what what was going on. I mean, I, I am understand very much. I mean, of course, it's a matter of performance. It's also somebody who, who tells stories is, uh, of course, a performance. But uh, um, in this case, I think, uh, I mean, I don't really know uh, how to see it as a performance. This is my point, basically. But, uh, well, it's interesting. I mean, what is the difference of reading a manuscript, uh, like actually many other cases happens in uh, other cultures of Indonesia? Unless you say, well, people actually get close to the, uh, the thing and uh, Maybe the Dalang does some movement, so I see some kind of performing. You know what? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, think other I, than I th himself uh, actually saying things. Yes, I think here was a problem of uh, of the terminology. Yes, it w it, it is a, I think it is a storytelling. It's uh, it's okay. actually a storytelling performance. Sorry, I don't want to say performance because we think of performance as uh, performing art. Uh, I mean, performance in the way, okay, the Dalang, also the Dalang performing a ritual. So I'm using this, this, uh, this verb just to be, to, 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 to indicate that the Dalang do storytelling. And um, uh, yeah. yes, actually, actually to explain, uh, uh, to explain a scroll is like to reading a, a, man a manuscript, yeah. Because I think there is a code in the inside the the, 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 the figure that are depicted inside all the scene. So it's yeah. Sometimes also also uh, the, also painting painting can be a sort of script or of scripture or script. So yeah, I think this is this is the the, the basis of why I'm there. Then the fact that I use always performing is just a problem of yeah of terminology. Okay. Because, uh, because uh, yeah, it was, I used perform to say also performing a ritual and performing a performance at a theater. Yeah, so sorry, it was just a problem of terminology. Okay, thank you very much for the explanation. But, but I think this, uh, from this point of view, uh, there is a question from Truly, yeah? Truly asking you what was the main purpose of the YM Bebe's performance at the time. Actually, it's already answered by uh, this uh, discussion. Okay, then we're going to the another question, yeah. Um, hope you don't mind. There is a Ibuli Dahasibuan from the YouTube asking uh, to Nando how to apply Wayang Beber in independent learning activity besides painting of Wayang Beber, such as the application of character value. You just said that um, now um, the Wayang Beber was using for the political, uh, for the... Um, Advocation and everything. Have a place to answer for that, uh, Nando. Yes, uh, in the in the in the current uh, wave and the modern and the contemporary wave of Wayam Beber, yeah, Wayam Beber change its role, but yes. from um, change its role from a religious to a social role, I think, and. Uh, 
uh, yeah, the, 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 the fact, the matter of fact that um, the, the new Lacan, the new, the new narratives talk about uh, uh, actual problem uh, as, uh, as we told, the politic and so on. Uh, yes, uh, it's another kind of value. In the past, uh, uh, during the, the, the a ritual of uh, Wayam Beber, the, the value uh, was where uh, the religious value or uh, keeping alive the tradition and so on. Today, beside the, the, beside the, the, the dati to keep uh, keeping alive the tradition as the, re the, the regeneration or work of uh, Ibuavi does, beside this, there's also a sort of uh, um, communication of social value. So not any more religious value, but still alive the, 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 the traditional value, the traditional value of the culture with new concepts. Uh, I mean, ambiente in a, in, a, in, a, in a modern world, in the yeah. contemporary world. I think it's the a, a, a same equation with Ibu Tamalia before, yeah. And we're welcoming also uh, Mr. PJ Range, uh, director of IV Jakarta. Uh, he has a question. Uh, did you come across Wayang Beber scroll with some text edit? Um, going to uh, Nando. And going to Ibu Afi, uh, Bapak Pijerens asking you, saat mengajar di SMA, apakah Anda membiarkan siswa membuat cerita baru, Bu Afi? Mungkin dengan topik baru, gitu ya, yang seperti tadi ditanyakan uh, Bu Tamalia. Is there any uh, training and how to be a dalam uh, to young generation also? Okay, so have a please to uh, answer first by Ibu Afi, maybe. Ya, yeah. uh -huh. terima kasih. Terima kasih Bu Ruli. Terima kasih pertanyaan yang sangat bagus. Uh, jadi gini, kemarin itu memang uh, uh, kita itu masih masih dasar ya, sangat dasar ya. Jadi saya masih masih nanya ini coba-coba uh, uh, dengan menggunakan teknik-teknik uh, yang yang anu apa namanya yang pakem aja dulu gitu loh. Karena saya belum berani gitu kan. Tapi itu masukan yang bagus karena hasilnya ini kan yang kami tampilkan tadi kan semua hasil-hasil anak SMA ternyata menurut kami luar biasa. Sehingga mungkin ini adalah ide yang bagus. Terima kasih, terima kasih masukannya. Nanti akan kita kembangkan lagi menjadi dengan teknik-teknik atau cerita-cerita yang lain sehingga lebih menarik untuk generasi saat ini. Terus kemudian tadi pertanyaan kedua apa deh? Dalang ya? Iya, sekolah dalang ya. Oh ya, oke. Okay. Uh, jadi begini intinya, uh, sekolah dalang itu ada, sekolah dalang itu ada. Dan kebetulan begini, kebetulan saya uh, mulai tahun 2001 sampai dengan 2020 sampai saat ini masih berjalan uh, saya itu kan penelitian di uh, keraton Kasunanan Surakarta termasuk kawasan Baluarti nah di sana saya temukan banyak potensi termasuk wayang beber ini jadi masih ada satu orang uh, ya tadi Bapak Joko Sriono yang uh, uh, beliau uh, uh, pesungling wayang beber sehingga saya waktu itu tergerak mau nggak mau saya harus um, uh, uh, menularkan ya ilmunya ya karena beliau sudah sepuh, ya kan? Saya khawatir ini beliau belum menularkan ilmunya, tetapi beliau sudah artinya uh, kita harus uh, pikirkan untuk uh, generasi anak sekarang, kan? Nah, kemudian saya lakukan untuk anak SMA. Terus kemudian untuk uh, dalang, uh, jadi di Baluarti itu sendiri uh, juga ada kursus dalang juga ada. Jadi mau dalang, mau dalang apa namanya uh, wayang kulit atau yang lain itu uh, di sana lengkap. Jadi segala potensi yang terkait budaya itu di Keraton Kasunanan Surakarta ya, terutama Baluarti, itu lengkap. Jadi monggo silakan kalau ada yang berminat untuk kursus dalam, itu silakan kami akan hubungkan dengan Baluarti. Begitu, Dek Ruli? Oke, satu lagi nih, menyambung dari pertanyaan tadi. dari Oke. Pertanyaannya dari calon santri untuk Bu Afi, gitu ya. ini kita ya. dapat dari Youtube. Bisakah wayang beber digunakan untuk aktivitas pembelajaran dalam bentuk lain, tidak hanya pembelajaran yang konvensional, terutama saat masa pandemi ini, dimanfaatkan dengan e-learning mungkin? Gitu. Ya. Oh, bisa. Sebenarnya bisa, Ibu. Ini sangat bagus. Uh, terima kasih ide-idenya. Ini tadi saya baca ide-idenya luar biasa, membuat saya uh, jadi mempunyai inspirasi, uh, terinspirasi ya, terinspirasi untuk melakukan A, B, C, D, E gitu kan. Terima kasih banyak. Oke, okay, thank you very much. So, I will going to Nando because there is uh, some question for you from Philip or Carmento Palermo. Uh, do you any evidence on the way the dalang was used 
uh, to narrate the stories. Um, and then the other things is uh, there are a lot from uh, uh, it, it seems there's an extraordinary parallel between the practice of the Sicilian storytelling, Chuntu, and Morinette's Pupi. Uh, oh, seems, Chuntu, yeah. seems like uh, Wayang Beber and Wayang Kulit. Okay, so uh, evidence about the role of uh, um, of Dalang, yes, in the in the chronicles that I uh, that I known before is the one from Mahuhan that actually is the more precise chronicle for this reason. I'm I'm insisting on that. Yes, actually, there's a, uh, there's a, uh, an evidence uh, the. Uh, Mahuhan wrote that uh, there was a man that drawn on Daluang, different uh, scene of a, of a story, and then he sitting on the ground with cross legged perform to people and uh, showing the scroll and explaining the imaging. And then, as I said before, people, the audience react to this. And uh, uh, the other question, it was about the Kuntu and Marionette. Yes, actually, actually, there is a parallel between, uh, especially Wayang Kulit or Wayang Olek and uh, Marionette dei Pupi Siciliani. Uh, yes, actually, is, 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 and there's also a parallel with our Cantastoria in Italy. I mean, it's the same. There's a scroll and somebody that sing or tell what we, we, we see. In the in this in this imaging that he showed to us, so yes, there's a parallel between this uh, different but yeah parallel art. Okay, thank you very much. And also, we have also a very interesting questions is about related with our topic space and urban yeah? from uh, Ibu Retno, uh, dosen arsitektur di Trisakti. Hello, Ibu Retno, selamat uh, sore. And also we have Pak Aditya is uh, IAI Jakarta. Welcome you, Pak Aditya. And one of them is asking you about. Um, how is the Wayang Beber can relate it or influence to urban and architecture space? Is it the same also with Ibu Ratno asking where, where to signify the sacred space or it? Yeah. Okay, so it's uh, talking about the space and architecture. How about please, Nando? Okay, uh, yes, I can relate. Um, actually, this was uh, uh, when I... Uh, when we decide together to talk about space and perspective, uh, it was a sort of uh, subject to match also this collaboration with, uh, uh, with the architecture faculty. So it was uh, an idea and all I said, it was uh, observation from my, my direct experience. And uh, yeah, actually we can, uh, we can relate uh, uh, yeah. the space and the movement uh, of the Wayam Beber, also simply talking about what the Dalan do with the scroll. So just the way, just the, the fact that a scroll must be open and then must be rolled and unrolled is a sort of a parallel with space and perspective. And then, uh, uh, yes, of course, I think that architecture can get uh, a lot can get inspiration from this because I gave my uh, my points of view uh, from the way uh, of an anthropologue that look at uh, uh, a picture and so talk about perspective uh, and so on. Maybe yeah, maybe architect can say us more about uh, how to intend the perspective. Okay, and then we are going to Ibu Afi. Uh... You can uh, follow up this uh, equation. Uh, terima kasih, Bu Ruli. Terima kasih pertanyaannya. Uh, bagus sekali pertanyaannya. Jadi begini, uh, kalau ini, uh, saya mencoba mempelajari wayang beber uh, dari setiap detailnya ya. Setiap detail yang ada pada beberan-beberan itu ya, lukisan-lukisan tersebut. Uh, ternyata di sana itu sama seperti saat kita, karena mungkin background saya di arsitektur ya, saya mencoba masuk ke perspektif antara arsitektur dan uh, wayang beber. Jadi di sana itu uh, setiap setting ya untuk arsitektur pasti sudah paham tentang setting ya. Setting setting ruang ya kan. Jadi setiap uh, setiap adegan, setiap adegan adegan itu uh, dikemas dalam sebuah setting yang sangat menarik. 
kalau kita misalnya ya misalnya uh, di pendopo di sana cuma juga ada pendopo gitu kan ya terus kemudian uh, di luar lagi kemudian kalau setting di luar uh, di sana ada landscape kemudian ada uh, tanaman-tanaman tanaman-tanaman yang sangat menarik kemudian ada juga background background yang lain elemen-elemen arsitektur di sana muncul semua nah disinilah saya uh, kemudian saya berpikir bahwa oh ternyata ini uh, ada kaitannya yang sangat erat ini uh, antara saya belajar di arsitektur dengan saya belajar di wayang beber nah ini dari setiap jadi monggo nanti bapak ibu uh, coba buka tadi seperti gambarnya Nando dan gambar-gambar lukisan uh, saya yang tampilkan itu kalau di detail itu sudah terlihat sekali uh, banyak elemen-elemen arsitektur maupun urban uh, yang muncul di sana nah seperti itu Kira-kira begitu jawaban kami. Oke, okay. thank you very much Bu Afi. I hope Bu Retno dan Pak Aditya uh, satisfied with this uh, uh, answer ya. Kita uh, left tinggal berapa menit lagi Kisera? Sekitar ada 10 menit. Satu pertanyaan lagi. Bu Rulik, boleh nggak saya nambah sedikit aja? Iya, silakan. Oke, okay, oke. Okay. Uh, begini, uh, mungkin karena Nando ini kan uh, uh, baru, uh, ini kan Uh, sedang disertasi ya uh, PhD ya uh, jadi mungkin ini masukkan saja dari saya uh, ternyata setelah saya melihat gambar-gambar Nando yang tampilkan tadi uh, sangat menarik saya jika saya sandingkan dengan gambar-gambar yang saya dengan teknik uh, keraton Kasunanan Surakarta ya uh, ada uh, perbedaan walaupun memang secara intinya itu sama dalam hal cerita tetapi dalam teknik pewarnaan uh, teknik sungging saya lihat sekilas tadi kemudian saya pelajari sekilas Oh ternyata berbeda. Mungkin ini uh, uh, silahkan Nando nanti mungkin mau dipelajari lebih dalam atau mau untuk post doktoral lagi gitu kan ya silahkan. Ini sangat bagus itu. Tadi saya lihat teknik rendering dari cara yang paling sederhana rendering atau sungging itu ternyata berbeda antara yang ditampilkan Nando dengan uh, dari Keraton Kasunanan. Nah ini uh, silahkan nanti mungkin untuk memperkaya ya memperkaya uh, kemudian untuk uh, bisa dipelajari lebih dalam lagi. Oke, okay, terima kasih Ibu Ruli. Oke, okay, terima kasih. I think this discussion is very amazing. Uh, there are a lot of questions and also the opinions when we see the Zoom group chat also ya. Yeah. Ibu Afi and uh, Nando, you can read it. Um, but yeah, the time is limited. Um, well, how many left, uh, Kisera? I'm asking you. Uh, we cannot hear you. Oke. Okay. Can okay. you hear me now? Yes, great. Oke. Okay. Oke. Okay. Oke, okay. yeah, I think I think it's time for for closing now. Uh, okay. I'm afraid we don't have any possibility to answer all the questions, but of course you are very welcome to uh, to write us, uh, to contact us for uh, further questions or if you want to have the discussion directly with the with the speakers, uh, with uh, Mas Nando uh, and Ibu Afi. Uh, yeah, you, you are welcome to write us with the, with the question. And um, if you need uh, the materials uh, that were presented here, uh, we can share it with you, of course. Uh, just uh, write us, contact us. And uh, yeah, I think that's all for, from me. Okay, yeah, then the, I can, um, it's better not to conclude because there are a lot of uh, theme, a lot of uh, issue that we can discuss. Uh, so, well, we, I think we need the more uh, needs uh, future studies uh, to have a more deep discussion, Kisera. But yeah, we will see and wait uh, what EEC will have the next agenda, um, waiting for that uh, second event, right? Uh, so, I'm past to you as a host uh, to closing. Thank you very much, everybody, for this afternoon creation. Have a pleasant Kisera. Thank you. Morning. Thank you so much. Um, I just uh, would like to add something. Uh, just, um, yeah, you, you can keep following us on our social media at uh, IIC Jakarta for our next event. Uh, we have uh, many Um, event in the future. Uh, tomorrow we have a cuisine event, so this is very interesting, I guess, <laughs> in this period. So yeah, uh, thank you so much for for being here. Thank you so much for uh, for uh, participating in this webinar. Um, and I I wish you a, a pleasant uh, weekend ahead, and uh, stay safe, stay healthy. 
Bye, everyone. Thank you so much. Okay, bye. Thank you. Thank you so much, everybody. Thanks you. you. Thanks a lot. Terima kasih Thank banyak. You. Oh, one more thing, wow. Ibu Ruli. Uh, Family picture? Yeah, no. do you want to take picture? So, yeah, okay. maybe, <laughs> maybe everyone, I, I will ask everyone to uh, turn on the camera so we can see you. Okay, that's We are great. going to make okay, uh, a picture together. Uh, Ibu Ruli? Say cheese. cheese. Okay, thank you. And then next slide. Say cheese. Okay, nice. Uh, okay. Thank you very much. Thank we did you. that. Family thank picture. You. We'll see you again. Bye-bye. Thank, so bye -bye. Bye -bye. thank bye -bye. you. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye